light. There we go. Woo. This is exciting. Welcome back to POV Pool. You're watching the fifth annual <clears throat> Cold Dixon Memorial Tournament at Family Billiards in San Francisco. Live now on the stream table is Mika Eminen versus Francisco Django Bustamante. And I'm going to pass off the mic to Daniel now. And uh, this is uh, Nelson Sola from Fremont. They call me the Grasshopper. My friend uh, Daniel said that I could commentate this match, the dream match. He picked a great match for us to commentate. What, what a wonderful match to commentate. I mean, two of the greatest pool players of all time. Geraldine, thank you so much. You're such a sweetheart. I like commentating with her. I do. You're a lucky man, you know that? He's like, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Well, you know, I was telling uh, Geraldine, like, who she thought might win this match, and she's like, well, my heart tells me Francisco. And I was like, no, no, tell me what your mind tells me. And she says, no, I want Francisco. <laughs> oh, nice break. Well, yeah, Francisco's definitely got a break, so does Mika. And these are the, these are the two world champions that are here playing oh. each other. I mean, what a, what a great match this is. Look at this six ball, man. It's gonna, it, it can cause problems trying to get shape on a two ball. Oh, he got right around it. Yeah. He managed to avoid everything, but how's the cue ball? Ooh, played the short side of the two, huh? I think he was probably trying to get to the, uh, to the left side of the two ball for the corner pocket, but. You know what? It's like, is, is this shot worth shooting, you know? Is, look at the seven and the nine. He could uh, he could play a pretty easy safety. You're right. But these guys shoot so well, you know? And I got a feeling that he's, he's going to do what you said. Good call, Daniel. He might find the eight ball, too. Oh, no, he's just going to come. That's you know like, uh, you know, so I would have dragged it forward just to try to get under it. He used the rail to get there. What a, that's yeah. just like uh, the difference between, you know, my thinking and the thinking of a champion. Hey, you know what? These guys, uh, they're masters at their game. There comes a, a nice little kick shot. Yeah. So, Ooh, I think it comes missed. within millimeters of that ball. <laughs> and Zapus is going to take ball in hand. You know, you're right about that. When these guys miss a kick, it's not by much. No. I mean, we miss by, you know, six <laughs> inches, eight inches. They don't miss by much. Well, speak for yourself. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right, Daniel. You're only uh, five inches. <laughs> yeah. I'm six. <laughs> yeah, but they're, they're five millimeters, so. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Django. Uh, no disrespect. You play a fine game. Oh, thank you. Uh, I have my moments, but uh, it's, been, it's been a while since I've played any game, really. So, so here we go. This is this is one of these shots that shot, huh? most players on this table, you know, would rattle that ball. But he gets perfect shape. What well, do you see him uh, getting shape on that seven ball to the side pocket? Well, that's going to be the key shot, right? Is uh, this is kind of the key shot because he needs perfect shape. So here we go. Oh, He's I like now, the angle. He now needs to come. Is he looking at the carom billiard shot? You know, on your stream, it, it looks like it's on. Well, Bustamani's a master of these shots, and I wouldn't blame him for trying to play that. And there it looks it like that's the angle he's playing for. So you're absolutely right. And from where I'm sitting, I can't see that. I have to look at the monitor. You know, I'm going to play short side of the seven for the side pocket or the corner pocket. Yeah, that's what he's, I was saying. But he's playing the set up an early nine. And you know what? If, if you get perfect position, it's probably an easy shot for him. He feels very comfortable. I say he makes this. Oh, oh what do you call 
love that the commentator curse. Yeah. Oh, man. It, it's been, it's been oh, said before. I'm keeping my mouth shut when they're shooting. It's been said before. Wow. I can't, I can't honestly tell you who I like in this match today because I, I really haven't had a chance to, uh, uh, to see both of them sort of in action. Uh, besides Mika today, we had a fairly easy match. Oh, he's gonna get lucky. Ooh, wow. That was, that roll. was totally unintended. So, you know, it's. And the funny thing is, it, it could be that shot that could make the difference in this match, right? We can end up later on, and it, it could be Hill Hill. We could be talking it, about it, this. But it could be that one shot that Mika, you know, uh, played. And, that, and that's the funny thing between these guys, you know. Yeah. So that's going to put Mika on the board. A nice roll. And you know what? Francisco got right where he wanted for that little carom shot. And then, you know, I thought for sure he'd make it. So we're on uh, alternate break format, guys. And we definitely want to thank uh, some of the sponsors who contributed to this event. We want to thank Town Break Jump Tips. And we want to remind you guys to check out TownTips.com. Do you, do you think he's going to go for the wing ball on their, break, on their breaks? Are these guys going for the wing ball? Uh, yeah, it's a controlled break, but uh, Boosty's break, uh, he tends to use a lot of power. And so, you know, so he, he, I've, you know I've yet to ask him what his intentions are on the break. He, he's not, like, purposely trying to make that five ball. But just but shooting right well, towards made, the hole. He, I think... I think right there, that's what he's trying to do is put the, the, the one ball, ball in the side pocket. Oh, okay. And the wing ball is like an insurance anyway. Oh, you know, these, guys are, these guys understand brake mechanics and, bra you know, mm -hmm. racking and braking uh, uh, science, you know. Right. Looks like a little slide shot here. Avoid all that traffic. Stay above the five. He's kind of back cutting to a blind pocket. Yeah. Ooh, comes off five. five. Oh, yeah. it's now, okay. now, this could hurt him a little bit because uh, he, you see right there, he could come between the uh, seven and the nine, but that's a very slim window. I think he's going to go to the corner and back it up. What do you think? Going to the corner is probably the better shot for the cue ball. And if he misses, he might be safe. So I, I think he's going to the corner too. Yep. yep. It was, oh, wow. Now, unfortunately, this three ball found itself up top again. I was um, going to say, if he got position on that four ball, that was like a little a one pocket game. Bing, 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 right in that corner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah, three balls to the same pocket. All right. So now Mika's is faced with, uh, you know, he has to play safe. And uh, he's probably going to tuck it behind the... Uh, five ball and six ball. Well, actually, I think he was looking to see if the three clears the four, and maybe it does. Oh, man, these are tight pockets. I would not suggest that. Oh, uh, well, he hit the four on the way in, so. Yeah, that's kind of a tough shot. Even for the great players. Looks like he could hit it, huh? I'm looking at this at the screen. Oh, another angle. This one looks like he's got to kick it. No, I think he oh, can. I'm sorry, I was looking at the wrong way. He's going for the three. Looks like and he can hit it. Oh, once again, it's a tight squeeze. Maybe that six ball will come into play. I don't think it goes to the corner, but he decided to play safe. I like the way that ball was sliding, and then when it hit, it, you know, it, it just yeah. really slowed that cue ball down. Yeah, he, he, he dragged that cue ball, kind of sli right. slide the cue ball up table for uh, contact on the three. And Nika's got a whole ball here, so I think he's going to play for the corner pocket, just like Django did a couple shots ago. You know, I like the way Nika yeah, puts went his in. chin on that, on that cue stick. Oh, really yeah. low, yes. like a snooker player? Like a snooker player, yeah. He's, uh, 
you know, he's got that uh, that line of sight. It's very sort of difficult to see what his dominant eye is, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, dominant eye would probably, I think it's his, uh, his right eye. But uh, it's very hard to tell, isn't it? Yeah, it's, that, uh, his face is pretty pretty centered on that kiss stick. Now, guys, this is a uh, this is a winner side match, so you know no one's out of this if uh, uh, you know depending on who wins and who loses. Uh, but uh, the loser of this match is you know just basically faced with a, a lot more work today. Uh, and I do remember Django talking to me earlier, asking me how many more matches does he have to play today, uh, which indicates to me that he's feeling a little tired. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, oh, a yeah. routine shot. And look at this. This is the second time Mika's gotten a good roll yes. or a lucky roll, you know. He has been the luckier player so far. But that, you know what? That's not your fault, right? That's not your fault. Well, here's the beautiful thing about Boosty. Now, Boosty's looking for either a way to make this ball. Oh, no, he's not going to try it. Look at this. On the rail with the seven and behind that ball. Oh, wow. I couldn't have done that better, you know, in ten attempts. I tell you what, the people uh, listening, they do not understand how fast these tables are and how difficult the cue ball control is. It's just amazing. Look at this shot. So Mika, obviously taking advantage of the oh, what a hit. taking advantage of the fact that the set, the eight ball is blocking the pocket, but for someone like Francisco. Uh, he may try to, he may take a stab at this. Uh, but he's got to be careful here because this the consequences. Now, he's also got a great opportunity to play safe. And you know what? He's a good one pocket player. I he's think going he's for it. it all the way. I think you're right. I think he's going for this grasshopper. They, they are, uh, oh, oh, he miscued. Oh, my goodness. And then who gets lucky now? Yeah. Now, that, but is that. No. Okay, so. <laughs> Meek is bringing this up. Is that a foul? Is that a double hit miscue? Now that is technically a foul. So a miscue. A lot of people, a lot of people don't understand this. I mean, can, can but a lot a of, but a miscue can also be a foul if it's a double hit miscue. I mean, I've seen you do replays. Maybe after this game, you could show a replay in slow mo. He's uh, it's gonna be too late for that. Yeah. Oh but, uh, darn. Grasshopper, don't ask for replays, please. <laughs> yeah, people are going to want their money back. <laughs> and, and that's what Mika was asking. You know, did you double hit that? Right. I thought he was asking if he hit a rail or something, but I, I didn't see the shot that clearly. Well, the seven came down to hit the rail and came back up. Gotcha. But anyway, we're far beyond that now. Mika's at the table with an open shot. I don't really know what Boosty did there. He kind of threw his cue at the shot there, didn't he? He didn't, you know, didn't seem to, to do too much for that shot. You know, I was telling Geraldine, I watched Francisco play back in the back room uh, earlier, and he, 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 looked, he looked like not his normal self. You know, he looks a little tired. I think you called it. He looks a little tired. Well, one thing for sure. Now, Boosie's actually been here for three days straight. So. Oh, now they can hear me. Yes. Well, you know, he's been here for three days straight. Now, something that pool players tend to do is they can. I'm not criticizing Boosty at all. I, I mean, he is who he is for a reason, you know. But uh, I myself have burned myself out, you know, by coming to a tournament too early to warm up. Try to be too ready, you know. Be, yes, try to be too ready. Yep. I uh, I practiced till one in the morning yesterday, and I was burnt out this today. That was not good. Good to do. I'm 
probably do like two more prizes later today, and then tomorrow I'll do the cubes. I'm gonna hang around because I think there's gonna be some action later. Well, what do you like between our cool and our children in that one night? Uh, let me talk later. I'm commentating. Well, it looks like a nice open rack. I mean, this is why they call them pros. They just they just eat up these racks. Yeah, sorry, I missed I missed oh that break. Oh my god, I did it again. The commentator curse. Oh, jeez. Hey, uh, <laughs> Grasshopper, was that? That wasn't five balls on the break, was it? I missed I missed the last. No, no so, way. So it was uh, it was Mika's break, and yeah, he's just running through the rack. Francisco's nice and low, also with his chin on the ball. Oh yes, yes he is. That's gonna go in. I didn't realize he was so low to the ball when he shoots. Isn't it amazing how many great Filipino players there are in the world? I mean, just they own pool. Yes, yes. It's, you know. Uh, well, you know, both both uh, uh, Efren and Boosty, you know, they they kind of survived in the Philippines, uh, uh, playing playing a lot of the. Uh, the army brats when they came off, you know. No, I'm serious. When they I got offshore you. leave, you know, they you. they'd play money, play money games with the army brats, and that's kind of how the pool scene got cultivated in the Philippines back in the uh, in the 40s and 50s. You know, and, and they're just. And such... if you don't believe me, you you can look it up. It's true. And they're so humble. They're so humble people. You know, they're they're so great at pool and they're so humble. I, I love their attitude. So Boosty's on the board with a score of two to one and a race to seven. You know, when you get two great players like this, the race should not be seven. It should be yeah, a like lot bigger, or, you know? <laughs> 17. I don't want it to end. This can't end. No way. They got to play again. Smash it. All right. Well, very nice break, uh, but... Unfortunately, nothing but air, so. Yeah, give him a good starter shot. Well, how good is that starter shot, uh, uh, Grasshopper? Because if you take a look, uh, the two balls down table, and uh, you know, he, yeah, he, but you naturally you'd want to play from the side pocket, but it looks like he might have to play down table for the corner. Let's see how he plays this. Oh, you're right. Yeah. I thought he could just put some uh, inside English. He no, he, he very well could have, but, you know, the natural angle follows a shape on the two. You know, so, that's why I'm the grasshopper. I'm still learning. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Janko, I think, has this open shot to the side. Oh, no. No, I'm sorry. Corner pocket. He's playing a two-way shot. Now, that's another thing uh, these players can do is the two-way shot. You know. uh, I thought the jump cue would come out now, but I guess not. You know, it's, it's pretty close to the rail, so that makes it a big ball when he goes his 2-3 uh, rail or kick. I like this shot because there's a chance the side pocket could come into play. You see oh, that? And the 9. And the 9. There's a lot of things that can happen, and there's a lot of that can, that can happen, too. Oh, my too. goodness. Uh, so. He's <laughs> smiling. Yeah. <laughs> Today is it. a good day, folks. Pool stream, awesome. boxing on ESPN. How, how much, how much better than that does it get? Well, All right, so Janko ball here in hand, huh? doesn't get any better than ball in hand, uh, Grasshopper. Oh, I like it. I like ball in hand. It just the next two, three balls are so easy. This beautiful uh, draw stroke there by Django Bustamante, he's going to play the two. Uh, but he may, I don't know what kind of angle he has on this ball, but if he's too straight, uh, he may just have to come off the rail. He's got a little angle, so will he stun up is the question. Yeah, he looks or like will he play the back rail? I think he's going to put outside spin and punch it a little bit. Oh, Lord. Well, like much. I said, I think we found this. Huh. I think we found the new devil table. Wow, yeah, this is the new devil table. Yeah.
Well, Mika's a l probably a little bewildered right now because this is now the second time he's looking down the throat of a a, a ball without a pocket. And that ball wobble and it hit it a second yeah. time and still didn't go in. Oh my goodness, it's a little bit unfortunate. Eighty some players I heard. Eighty three. Eighty three players. That's a good. That's a good. Uh, At this sucker. Yeah. <clears throat> And, uh, you know, we arranged for a tiered entry so the amateurs could pay only $75 to play, $100 for the pro. So it makes sense to play these events. Oh, oh Lord. Especially when your pro does that. I know, <laughs> you know. I, I think He'll stiff this ball and kick it. Players, they, they got to get up and, and play these guys. You know, this is a golden opportunity. And yeah. you know what? You're never really ready. You just got to do it. It's like having a baby. You know, when are you ready to have a baby or get married? That's a perfect you example. You just got to do it, right? You never can afford it. <laughs> See, that Boosty knew he was doing that. He's kicking yeah. into outer space. That's why, you know, that's what I call kicking into outer space. You really have nothing to cover your ball. You don't really have a much of a safety kick there. There's no return safety. Uh, so he, he's inevitably left uh, Mika an open shot. You know, I, I'm looking at Mika's face and I'm looking at Francisco's face, and Mika does look fresher. He does, and uh, he just played a very good shot, which could actually be the winning shot to, 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 to run this out. I hope Francisco's not a little sick with a cold or something. No, he's not. I mean, I spoke with him earlier today, and uh, and he he did he would have told me, you know, basically. He's a, I consider him a friend, and he would have told me. You know? It's it's nice to know too when when they're at full speed and that. Yeah. So. Yeah, but uh, uh, this noticed. table can slow you down too, you know. Uh, yeah. I mean, for those who are just tuning in and, and just watching this. These pockets are three and seven eighths inch uh, wide oh, at the uh, at the at the uh, family at Bill. the opening. Yes, family Bill, San Francisco. And so you've seen these guys rattle a couple of balls, or even miss by a half a diamond. Yes. A lot of times it's because they're bearing down a little too hard. You know. Mika is a sniper. He is just a sniper. Well, we got it. Got another one on the board for Mika Imminent. It's three to one now. This is a race to seven. It's moving fast. We're only 23 minutes into this match. <laughs> Actually, probably a little less because I think there was about three minutes before they started. Right. Oh, no, no, we are 23 minutes in from the lag. Joe Stash in the chat room says, wait, what? Three and seven eighths inches? <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty brutal. This ain't no sissy boy Sunday drive here, folks. Yeah. What's uh, what that poker player says? The sissy game is up the street. Yeah, the sissy <laughs> for game. The big, is up the big boys is a, and girls, big girls. It's like my buddy Rhino Lay says, this is the big boy table. I like what Delbert said at the beginning of the tournament for a lot of the amateurs and heavyweights. You guys got to put your big boy pants on today because there's no spots. <laughs> no. I like that. So this is definitely a treat watching these two world champions, former world champions play face off against each other at uh, Family Billiards for the Cole Dixon Memorial. And this is only day one of two. This tournament's been running so smoothly. Delbert's done a great job with his crew here, you know. Yeah, Delbert does an excellent job, and uh, you know we're just we're just honored to be here at Family Billiards in uh, San Francisco, 2807 Geary Boulevard. Don't be afraid to come on down and. Uh, yeah, it's still early in the night too. I mean, yeah. you know, come on down or up where where we are at. Yeah. These guys give autographs, too, if you ask them nicely. Exactly. They're approachable. Rodney was telling, you know, giving me a tip on how to kick balls. I was like, wow. Yeah, they're all, and you know who else is a great instructor? It was Ramon Mystica, and he's uh, he's here. 
yes. at this event. And he, he's been known to teach the pros how to play, the Filipino pros. Are you kidding me? Wow. So anyway, back to this now. Boosty this has an open bridge. table. Look at this bridge. Oh, I love it. Man, anytime I say no. that they're going to make a beautiful shot or I like what they're doing, they miss. <laughs> I, 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 I'm bad luck. No, don't feel bad. Don't feel bad. This nice the only thing. person that's going to agree with you is Boosty's backer. <laughs> yeah, people waiting for me in the parking lot. So now we're uh, we're uh, suddenly found ourselves in a safety battle. He's got to watch out. He could scratch in off. Wow, he hit that nice and right thin. Me. And look oh, at this. Look, look at that. How do you do that? You know How what? do you do that? You couldn't put it any any tougher, right? I mean, that's, huh. look at, look what he's and he it. played to hit that thin because the in off was so. Oh, did you see that hit? Yeah, that that's was a, a hell. Of, that was a hell of a mess save by Mika Eminen. It didn't take very long to aim that either. No. Here comes another good shot. I don't know what he's doing he's here, uh, Grasshopper. Uh-oh, the pocket. corner pocket is oh, tight, and it's what? not going to find its way in, but he doesn't get safe. He's given Mika a piece of this ball. Wow. Oh, how fortunate now, for Mika. This was one of the shots I saw Mika play the other day. He cut the ball in in a practice game with somebody the other day, oh, just like this, a shot just like this. Oh, yeah, I'm thinking save. No, I mean, he played that in such a way. I think, yeah, you're right, he played it as a safe. Yeah. But that's dangerous because he's sending the three ball up into a, a potential, yeah, you know, sort of a combination. Ugh, I don't know. It's like softballing this ball. He's, he's firing it. Oh, my goodness, he did that good. I would never shoot that ball like that. Oh, he hit that so good. I would be afraid. I'd have to slow, slow roll that ball. Well, they do say sometimes, no guts, no glory. Man. You know, I think sometimes they do a shot like that just to, like, get in rhythm. Let me hit this shot and let me get going after this. Uh, just open up a little? Yeah, let the stroke out and... You know, I mean, a lot of us pool players, we play percentage, you know, so we, go, we look at the percentage of that shot and go, hmm, isn't there a better shot here, yeah. you know, but uh, these guys, these guys kind of run on adrenaline sometimes and it works and that's yes. the beauty of, and the magic of watching professional pool. You know what, Francisco's face is looking like he's uh, coming out of it, whatever it was. Whoa. Did you see that? That I six did. wiped its feet on the way in, didn't it? I, you know, I'm sensing that he's he's coming out of his slump. Which I don't know if it's really a well, slump, but you've already cursed cursed a few shots already. <laughs> so I wouldn't speak oh, too soon. Sir. I know I don't want to say nothing. Just <laughs> please make those two balls. I, I feel a momentum change. I, you need, hold on. Mouthpiece yeah. does need to be a little closer. So, I don't know. It's like, can you kind of put that over your head at all? Yeah, Is it hurting you? No, no, whatever you need to do. Is this good? Yeah. All right. Make sure that's on your ears. You got it? Yeah. Is that good? Just like that. Yeah, all right, beautiful. All right, we're back. Daniel was uh, had to adjust my microphone here off to the side. So you know, Daniel, I, you you know, you have to take care of me. I don't know about these microphones. It's all good. It's all good. Don't worry about it. But uh, w while we're here, let's take a minute. We're going to thank Tiger Products for uh, taking part and being an official sponsor of the West Coast Swing. That's what you're watching right now, guys. You're watching. The Cole Dixon Memorial Nine Ball Tournament, the official launch of the West Coast Swing of Pool in the United States. Every summer, 2017, this uh, West Coast Swing takes place uh, in California and works its way down to Las Vegas for four weeks of action-packed 
Den Dennis is sponsored pool. by Tiger, isn't he? Dennis? Uh, no, yeah. he just got a new sponsor. He's now sponsored by Meucci. Oh, they're just lining up. Let us yeah. sponsor you, please. They're knocking on the door. He's the new Michael Jordan, the LeBron, uh, the Steph Curry. Jay Wu. Jimmy, is that Jimmy Wu? Wants, hey. wants me to find out what Django is using right now uh, to play pool. Hey, Should what? I stop and ask him? <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to say, uh, you know, we're, we're in the home of the Warriors. You know, they're moving to San Francisco. Oh, did you just see that? Did you see that? I know. He tried to break it up. He tried to play a beautiful breakout shot. Unfortunately, uh, See, unfortunately. I gave a little shout out to the Warriors and you completely ignored me. Oh, I'm sorry. You're, you're down what? from the, you're the Clippers or Lakers what is guy. That? Is, that the, is that the big round ball with the hoops? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your buddy Jeffrey Sanders says hello. It's been a long time and he's glad you're commentating this oh, match. Oh, nice. Anyway. How you doing? Hey, to all my friends out there, a big hello. All my buddies in California Billiards. Um, just hello. Hello to my family. Definitely. You're listening to... You're listening to Grasshopper. This is Daniel Bush, and you're watching POV Pool. You know, my name is Nelson Silva, and like... Some people don't even know my name. They only know me by Grasshopper. For well, all they years, know it it's now. So it's crazy. Like, <laughs> it's so you crazy. You just ruined it. <laughs> I know. I just informed everybody. Yeah. It's okay. No, it's okay. Everybody wants to know that who who the real Grasshopper is. Are They'll they, know. Are they taking a break? Because I, I don't see anybody shooting here. What's going uh, on? No. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on. They're both looking. Looks like they're watching the, they're watching the boxing the fight. match. They're watching the fight. <laughs> we want to watch <laughs> you guys beautiful. fight. Oh, I need Geraldine here. She needs to take a picture of that. They're watching. Uh, they're watching the fight. They are. All right, let's stop for a minute. And watch this fight. Oh, it's Pacquiao. Yeah. <laughs> no oh, kidding. No wonder why they're watching. There. Oh, that was just. I really wish I had the, our photographer here. Oh man! Uh, at that moment, I hope that it doesn't mess up their concentration level. Look there at you that go. Safety. Oh, standard, I... standard for these guys. That's in their that's in their repertoire. Oh, I love it when they're touching another ball. It's fantastic. Oh, yeah, ju just judging by the way Mika was cueing right. that ball, I already knew he was. He, unless he was, unless he was stiffing it and shortening it. I knew it was going to miss. Now, th this is where everybody always says, he should be out, he should be out. You know what? It's really easy to make a mistake over position, under position. Um, That's a good point. No guarantees. That's There's, a great point. I've seen it happen too many times. And when I'm commentating, it seems like they always miss when I tell them that they're out. Uh, it looks like Manny's struggling a little bit, Manny Pacquiao, in that fight. I, I, I like boxing, but what I'm watching here is just more important to my heart. Oh, Francisco's starting to kick it into gear. I really like that. It's going to be a really, really good match here. Yeah, we got three to two, guys. Sorry three about that. Two. The Manny Pacquiao fight just took me away from the scoreboard. It's three to two, and uh, with luck from Django, it might be three to three. I'm not saying it until he makes it. There he goes. All pocket, folks. All and right. This yep. is a tie game. It was an open run. And he did get out. Mm -hmm. But you know what? It's really easy to get to get behind a ball, over shape, under shape. Yes. I've yes. seen it. It drives me nuts when people say he's out, she's out. Oh, thanks. You know, it drives me nuts when I hear a commentator saying, oh, they break the balls and they're like, this game's over. No, it's not. <laughs> you got to play the game. 
you know, hey guys, we also want to thank Big Time Threads. Big Time Threads, that is a big part of uh, sponsorship of the West Coast Swing Events. Check out Big Time Threads at BigTimeThreads.com. I like when you do these little commercials. <laughs> I don't know. It's pretty cool. Oh, you're the one. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty neat. I mean, neat little graphics. He's pushing out. And you know what? I don't like this push. Oh, but he tied up the two ball. I take it back. All right, Daniel, what do you do? Are, are you, uh, you're going to shoot this one ball, obviously, and then play safe. What else, what else would you do here? Shoot the one and then play safe. Well, safe on the two ball. It's tied up by the five. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Oh, my goodness. He, you know what he was trying to do? He was trying to get two rail shape to break the five and the two out. But I don't think that angle was there because if you take a look, I don't know. That's... That was kind of what much. I got out of that, but he, he ended up hit, colliding into those balls and scratch. Now, the worm has turned in this match because uh, this gives boost to the upper hand. Now, this is not an easy safety, so he may just elect to try to play this bank. Now, you got to understand, Francisco Bustamante is a bank's champion for the Derby City events. Really? So, yeah, more than once. So, wow. I, I, you know, you know there's, there's not a lot safe, of banks like, that scare him. Yeah, but I mean, I see safe just like he's doing. That's what I think I would try to do. Yeah. Now, do you notice how he played that? Like he kind of opened up, uh, oh, elevated his cue, yes. jacked it up, and he uh, he didn't jam into it. Look at that shot. Now, no, I don't Mika like may it. very well have set up a perfect combination. Yeah, I think he wired it. Oh, wait. No, 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 not wired on this table. He said it, it wasn't no that rail? legal shot. I thought he hit the rail. Or did he hit the five going in? No, he did not. I do not think so. Of course, he was a lot closer to it, so he should know if he hit, got a good hit or not. I think that he's going to get behind the nine. Oh, man, Django is just, oh, my God. Goodness, he is playing rock solid safeties. Wow, what a what a good try! Oh my goodness, did you see what just happened? He kind of got upset with himself and hits a few balls, and now he just gave up the game. Oh no, you gotta keep your keep your temper. Well, I you know I think he's frustrated because. Uh, well, no, I think it was a three-foul rule, was it not? You're frustrated because oh, it uh, could have been. Yeah. You know, he had a two-game lead in this match, and uh, you know that's changed. Wow! So he's just going to rake these balls, and uh, Boosty actually has a break. So. Oh man! The worm has turned, uh, Grasshopper. I know it. I just it's four to three. It was two. It was two to one. And then it was what? Three to one. You know, it was I, three to one. I called it. I I, I said Francisco looking like you know he's catching his groove now. Oh, is that beautiful or what? And now look, Mika looks like he's a little tired, and Francisco looking a little fresher. I mean, it's a momentum swing, obviously. You you, you got to understand. Uh, okay, so that was Tom. Uh, that was Tom, the house man, just reminding Django, please use that break cloth so that he, he put an extra break cloth <laughs> on the table, not seeing the break cloth that's already there. So anyway, uh, back to what you were saying. Uh, you're right. Uh, you know, but you got to understand that these guys kind of, they kind of uh, exchange power with one another. And they know it. Uh, they're, they're on a totally different level than we are as pool players. No doubt. Um, uh, but at the same time, we still kind of work on, on, on sort of a power exchange. 
I don't know if Manny Pacquiao's, uh, I think Manny Pacquiao might be coming back. Yeah, everybody's getting excited oh, about this Manny, fight. Manny's. Well, the pool players have taken a break because they're, they're watching this uh, yeah. boxing match. Um, Mika, Django, everybody's, everybody's stopped now to watch this fight that is going on right now. Oh, Pacquiao is just really swinging for the fences. I'm going to commentate it. Okay. Oh, well, Francisco's at the table. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. Time. What do you got to do? I'm going to film this on my phone and drop oh, put it in. Ah, okay. All right, guys, it looks like they're back, so. <laughs> All right, Bryce. So here we go with, uh, okay, these guys are now watching the fight, but they're still sparring in between. And this, this, this kind of, I haven't seen anything like this since, uh, since the Derby, the Kentucky Derby last year, uh, where I was live streaming. I was live streaming, I think, uh, a Swanee event, or two years ago, a Swanee event, and the Kentucky Derby was going on at the same time. Everybody was watching the, the Derby horses run around the track, and, and the, <laughs> the players stopped to watch as well. So, I, I'm a little shocked. Yeah, no, it's, uh, I'll I've be seen honest it happen with you. a couple times at events like this, but uh, this, this is quite, you know, uh, Manny Pacquiao's uh, near and dear to many players. So. Yeah. And you know what? These guys are, they're, they're, Probably really good friends. What happened there? What in the world? I was trying to tie it up. Um, they're good friends. I think they're you know a mutual little break. Watch the boxing match. They're they're both okay with it. Well, here comes a, a safety of some sort. I I I'm thinking that he's gonna skim off that two ball and try to get behind the nine. Oh look, he's gonna he, he wants to bury the two ball so he can't hit it. This is a very unique safety, I will say. How how many fouls is he on? I wonder. I hope he's not on two fouls. Because this is a brutal situation. Well, I'm seeing, uh, yeah, I don't know who's winning this safety battle because I've got, I've got uh, a lot of distractions going on. I'm very really sorry. Daniel is the most multitasker person I've ever seen in my life. You're like doing five things at once while you're doing this oh, yeah, commentating. Oh, yeah, ADD. <laughs> ADD. <laughs> Stay away from the caffeine. <laughs> Oh, that's a good idea. Wow, look at this safety. Oh, my. He said, he said that was a bad hit. He says, you're on too, Django. I like calling him Django. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Such a cool name, you know. And he's just burying him. Oh, he let him off the hook. He let him off the hook. You know, that was really interesting. He was willing to, to take, uh, you know, a, a, a second foul because he knew Django was already on two and that would put him on three. Mm -hmm. And there he is. He's off the hook. Look at that. Snake. Wow. Like you said, they're always right touching that ball. Yeah, these guys, these guys don't want to leave any jumps or anything like that. You know, I, I, I can really appreciate a game like this, you know, the safety battle. Well, you, you really like one pocket, so exactly. it's definitely something. Well, you know, one pocket is the game today. Everybody is playing one pocket. Yeah, yeah, that's you true. You walk into the pool hall, it, it's not nine ball. It's one pocket. Especially in our pool hall. <laughs> Which is California billiards, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. You know, well, you know something's wrong when uh, they got more players for the one pocket last year than they did the uh, the ten ball tournament. It's a trend, I think. Oh, 
What a beautiful, I love to see them draw the ball with not that much effort, smoothly like that. Mm -hmm. Let's see, what is the score again? Oh, Django four, Mika three. Oh, that's Francisco. Oh, my goodness. A little mental lapse there. Goodness gracious. You know what that is? Watching boxing. <laughs> is that a Distraction. Pool? I don't know. I'm just kidding. These guys well, are... no, it's, it's affecting me, you know, so. This, this match is too close to... Uh, to get distracted by boxing. Yeah, so some four people. to four still, right? We're still tied up. And your live chat and just people just love chatting on that. I like that. Well, Mika has, uh, you know, I, I tell you what. Why does he seem uncomfortable? He's got a wide open table. And maybe it's just he's just being careful, but uh, I don't know. I don't know if he's. I don't know if he's a little, a little distraught by the outcome of this. He, he kind of wanted to come in strong. Well, you know. But uh, he should be able to close this out. Let's see. Let's make sure he's all right. So. This is what he really needed to get going. You know, a couple of nice open shots. There he goes. He's off and running. That was sweet. Okay, good. So, you know, I mean, you know, Mika was winning in the beginning of the, of the match, and then he was he's losing. Now it's tied. Well, you know? that's how it is when you play when you play guys that are even with you. Ooh. You know, I mean, that's what's going on here. You know. Uh, I know it. I know. I it. mean, uh, let's just say honestly. Maybe it's a it's a winner's attitude to say they're better than everybody, but if you were to really ask John Go, who's better, you or Mika, and inversely, who's better, Mika, you or Django, what do you think their answer would be? I, I don't what? think they would be. I think they would have total respect for each other's game. I think they would say the other player, because you know they're, they're comfortable think, in their I think skin. they would both just say. They would hesitate, and then they would say, he's tough. <laughs> <laughs> or they might say, you know, it depends on who's breaking better today. And, and that's, they might say something like you that. You know, that, I mean, look at that break. My goodness. Yeah, four down. Wait a minute. Yep, four, four down and a shot. <sighs> Good now starter that's shot. That's for Mika. Three balls sitting over the hole. Look at the six. This, I mean, with these guys, this is like, wow. I love this break. This, uh, it's a nice, easy out for them. There's a lot of players in here. With that layout, you're not going to get another shot. A lot of amateurs in here. and oh, We all know that. I mean, you know, these it's guys are just playing. dialed in the break. But, you know, we, the, the common problem with... Uh, a break like that is um, is that you don't get a shot on the next ball, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is uh, Slim Pickens. This is, he's going to love this. It's a nice, easy shot. Dead, perfect, straight in. Stop your cue ball. And well, there he goes just again. like that, within like two and a half minutes, Mm, 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 mm. Django Boosty, who do you like in the chat room? Well, now that, uh, I mean, Django and Mika. <laughs> Django and the Iceman. Well, now that uh, it's five to four, I, I guess everybody's cheering Mika. But, uh, well, don't forget, it's alternate break. It's an alternate break, break so, okay, you know, so maybe, maybe it'll come 5-5 five, five right now. That changes everything. And, uh, you know, I honestly have to tell you, you know, I don't have a favorite in this, but I just like to see good pool. I have no horse in this race. 
One ball goes down. The cue ball squarely in the center of the table. No real shot on the two. You know, even if you were betting on one of these players, I mean, it's a 50-50 shot. Actually, I, I have to agree. I think that's the first break and run I've seen today on this devil table. You know that. So, uh, I think good you call, uh, gunslinger. Yeah, I think you uh, you named a, a good nickname for this table. It has been the new devil tough. table, huh? Well, you know, if if L.A. You know, hard times is called the devil table, is that, is that what they call it, the devil table? Yes. We have to have a, a name that means the same thing but slightly different. I mean, it can't have the same name. Call it the demon or something. <laughs> you know, I mean, you know, every table has a, has a unique name. Lucifer. <laughs> yeah, Lucifer. Well, that's we've seen already this shot uh, executed by Boosty once you know, already in this match. You know, his safeties are so good. When, when he's not touching the ball, I'm like, well, why not? <laughs> you know, because that's what he normally well, does. Know, that's deja vu because I remember that last time when Mika was, and it was on the four ball as well, but this was the two. But uh, very, that's like deja vu from uh, maybe three racks ago, that ball in hand that Mika gave Django by missing a shot like that. I gotta ask you, what you know? How come Efren's not here? Did you just see that? I know, fantastic. Another shot, shot that you would never play. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you know, you need to keep that ball there for the next next shot, and I don't know how to power it like that. Where's Efren? He's in uh, the Philippines. He went oh. back very recently, actually, just a few days ago. You know, everybody loves Efren, yeah. and and we were all wondering about him actually, because. Uh, there was an event in Shreveport, Louisiana, that uh, Warren Kiamko went to. And uh, Warren will be here in just a couple of days to, uh, to play the Pro 10 event coming up on July 4th. Guys, I, gotta, I just got to tell you, this is just the iceberg of what you're going to get in the next 16 days here on this channel that you're watching right now, POV Pool. Oh, my goodness. It's, it's the Super Bowl. All these uh, yeah, it's like the G8 Summit of Pool or something, you know. <laughs> so NFL playoffs. Yeah. It's July Madness. Oh, he's gonna just draw it back. Yep. There he goes. Well, this is definitely a game that Django needed. It's now gonna be five-five if he can just. Hold it together and not. Don't you curse know, him. This is difficult. You could. I know it. See, I could. I should say I could. Anybody. But he could get perfect shape. <laughs> <laughs> you know, pool is so funny. It looks so easy. And then you jump on a table and you miss an easy shot. Oh, plus, on these pockets. I mean, oh, look, these guys. pockets are just unbelievable. So I'm seeing a couple of monsters in the room, actually. Uh, looks Rodney. like Lee Brett's in stroke. <laughs> looks like Angelo Ines is in stroke. Rodney Morris, I believe, is on the winner's side in some kind of a warm-up mode. Uh, we got Sonny Santos. Santos Samahol. Yes. <clears throat> Starting a match with... Oh my gosh, with Freddie from uh, California Billiards. And Jeff Purvis is still in it, the Q guy. Yeah, and you got Frank, one pocket Frank. He's Frank, you're still in it? Frank, he's Frank still Rollins in. Frank is still in. Oh, you know what? That gentleman right there can play one pocket and nine ball very well. But back to our match. Yeah, back to this. Quick stretch just out. Just giving you a quick update. Hope you guys are enjoying this, please. And please subscribe to YouTube. Subscribe to POV Pool on YouTube. And don't forget to hit the like button. And share. Share this event. Share uh, on your social networks. We can't do it alone. Here comes a, a combination shot, huh? 
Remember you said, I love combination shots. Exactly. I love. I can't wait for my next treetop combination. Oh, tight pockets over a ball. So tough. Yeah. Well, that just worked out horrible, didn't it? But I'm let's see. Oh, safe. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So now I think uh, it's a reversal of fortune here. It was in the beginning, Mika was getting the lucky rolls, and now. You know, I was just thinking how he's going to play that safety. Oh, that's a good shot. That's a that's like a billiard safety. That's yeah. a three cushion shot. You know what? He has just enough room to get through there. Yep, beautiful shot. That's what he had. Oh, look at my eyeball. Nope. Uh-oh. Well, this would be a wild shot for Mika to take on, but uh, that's nope. the thing about Mika. I'm not always I'm not always sure what he would what he does is going to do, you know? Like he's one player that's very difficult for me to predict. Oh, look at that. He tried to play safe and go for it at the same time. No, I, don't, I don't think he was really no. going for that. I more safety. More, a lot more safety. Yeah. Thank you, you Ricky know, Bryant. A lot of times that's what you got to do, right? You got to decide, hey, am I playing cue ball or am I playing the shot? And just yeah. try to do both. You screw it up. Yes, exactly. Uh, you know, in fact, most Hey, times, look who's here. No, most times. The love of your people. life. <laughs> Most times, if you try to do both, you 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 know you, you face consequences. So what's what's Boosty gonna do here? I'm thinking safety. You know, a thin cut and send the cue ball back down. No, oh, no, we he got ourselves. That, ball. Uh, that went sour on him, and he is upset, visibly shaken. I, th I thought he was gonna cut it into the three ball and send the cue ball up top. I was wrong. Oh, I tell the you. noise has escalated in here, I tell yeah. you. All right, so Mika does not right. get very good shape on this three, but. You know, you were telling me that he, he likes to shoot these thin cuts. You think he's going to go for this? I, yeah. I say yes. What do you think? Oh, wait, he's jacked up. I uh, looking like more like safety. Yeah, I, I think at this stage in the game, wow, I felt a little unexpected here. But I was going to say at this stage of the game, I think I think it's safety it's play. It's time to play to win instead of, you know, take a shot. Yeah. And this is where Django's deadly when he doesn't have a ball on the rail where he's got a good safety in mind. Look at this shot. Oh my goodness. I guess I was mistaken, guys. Well, I but see a safety coming Right here. now, I think Boosie's going to be in jail for his crime. Yeah, I have a feeling he's going to be buried. This. I don't think, uh, I don't think he's going to be able to hit this. I was just going to say, as great of a player as he is, this might be a challenge. Now take a look, too. The seven and the nine make a good combo now that's exactly the shot i was thinking right there tie the six up to the eight don't give the six a pocket right and uh basically he's got to force nika to work here he's got to really earn this well you know it, it's too early to, to talk about the six ball but i'm thinking to carry him off the six hit the seven and he can make the nine Wow, that was something else. Yeah. Did you see that? You know, I just got a phone call right when he shot it, but I saw what he was about to do. He, he skinned that three ball and hit the, the nine, the, the uh, seven nine. Yeah, he took ball in yeah. hand. And, uh, oh my goodness. He took ball in the hand, he thinned the three and he sent it down. 
Nice. Uh, combo shot. Sorry about that. It was like a, it was a billiard combo. So now it's a uh, six five, Mika, right? Uh, yes, it is. Sorry. Getting buggy over here. It's getting a little buggy. So, so let's go back here. And how long have these guys been playing this match? Do you have the time recorded? Uh, yes, I do. It's been one hour and 25 seconds. Well, time flies when you're having fun, huh? Yes. Well, I tell you what, with Mika on the hill, I don't think Janko's having a lot of fun right now. It's only two games. You're right. The bad thing is Mika's breaking next. These guys are so seasoned that uh, there comes a point where all this is for them is work. Mm -hmm. you know, they're just working and they're just trying to earn. Uh, and uh, for a lot of these guys, it's survival. And they got families to feed and uh, this is what they got to do. What a beautiful shot that was. Oh my goodness. Now this again would be one of those shots where I'd hit it nice and easy. I wouldn't fire at it like I've been watching them do. So uh, the three will go in next. I think he got just enough angle on it. He'll thin this in. You know, I got to tell you, Daniel, when I listen at home, your voice is so clear. He's got a good radio voice, huh, Jeremy? I hope my mic, everybody can hear me out there. You know, sometimes when you have a guest, it's a little hard to hear the guest. I see. That's been already said in the chat room a couple of times. That's why I had to adjust my adjust microphone, right? Times. So yeah, we're okay though now. Well, hill, hill. Here we go. Well, hold, hold on, sir. Don't count those chickens, man. Hey, you forgot to mark the score, my friend. You know, hey, I, I'm sort of powerless right now because I've lost all control of... Uh... Okay, we're back. My software's glitchy right now. I apologize. Uh, we are at Hill Hill. So the players are going to take a break. At Hill Hill? <laughs> I've never seen that. Mika's breaking. Mika's breaking next, right? Have you ever seen them they take a break on Hill Hill one game to go? Oh, yes, I have. Thank hey. you, JB Cases. Commercials. Thank you, thank you. Oh, you like the Woo! commercials. Hey. Tiger what, Cues. What kind Let's of go. case you got there? I got a Justice case. Oh, very nice yes. case. Yes. Justice makes great cases. Yes, sir. Uh, and I got to throw it out there. I shoot with a Robinson Q. Oh, Robinson. My uh, friend I Lenny Robinson, Robinson uh, sold it to me. It used to be his cue, and it hits the ball so nice. Awesome. Forward balance. It's beautiful. Awesome. Is there anyone you want to say hello to? You know what? I was going to wait to the very end, but they're Just, taking a break. Yeah. I want to say hi to my uh, lovely wife, Sabrina. All right. Uh, hi, Sabrina. My daughter and my son. My daughter's name is Alexis, and my son's name is Andrew. And uh, That's who I saw when I uh, met you, right, yeah. Alexis? Yes, and she's a pretty good little Andrew player. Andrew's there. Andrew's not there. He's a gamer. He likes to play games yeah. on the computer with his cousins up north. <laughs> you know, okay. Andrew and Xander. You know, it's it's great. Well, you know, everything's everything's fun when you're uh, when you're that age. You know, you just uh, take interest in so many things. We want to thank Town Break Jump Tips as well. And, uh, you know, we got uh, town tips here for sale. You can come on in and I'll sell you a town tip. We're also giving away a couple of town tips uh, on the, uh, at the venue. So if you come into the venue, you can win something here. We're giving away merchandise for all, from all of the sponsors that, that are, uh, you know, supporting this event and, and supporting the West Coast Swing events. 
And uh, we also want to give a, a shout out to uh, Go Play Pool at goplaypool.com and uh, thank Rami Bakhtari and Go Play Pool for promotional support of the West Coast Swing. Mm -hmm. And let's not forget who are honoring today Cole Dixon. Ah, yes. The, the, the That's great right. Cole We're Dixon. Here to celebrate the life of Cole Dixon, who, uh, who uh, usually we are joined by Christine and Luke Thomas and mm -hmm. the, the Dixon family. So we want to give you guys a shout out. Uh, they moved to, uh, did you know where they go, where they went? Mm -mm. They moved to Alaska. Wow. In Alaska. You know. Uh, living the family life. We, we lost a, a great pool player a couple years back, uh, Dave Piona. Uh, just, uh, yes, you know. I know. There's a Dave Piona uh, tournament here uh, or in Southern California. What? In the Bay Area, in Concord. You yeah. know, I just want to say uh, rest in peace, you know. And, um, you know, we had a lot of great players in the Bay Area that, that used to play with us in our pool hall, you know, Billy Aguero, Tall Paul, um, you know, Freddie, uh, you know, just, oh, Mexican Ed, I forget. Yeah, you know, we call yeah. Mexican Ed. We don't remember his last name. But. We lose him too. We lose him too. Oh, man. So, uh, speaking of uh, Back to everybody match. loses something, and I tell you what, someone's going to lose this match. <laughs> And I don't know. I like which, how you transition to that. I don't know which one it's going to be, but uh, here it is, folks. Hill Hill, this is Daniel sitting here with the grasshopper. We hope you had have enjoyed this match. Oh, and I want to say hi to all my friends at California Billiards, and you guys all know who you are. You know, uh, too many names to, to call. Yes, especially in the last rack. So who has the first chance here? Mika uh, Eminem has the first chance. He's I don't gotta, know if that three ball. He's got a kick at it. I don't know if that three, Well, he or, can thin it. Can he thin it? Can he thin it to win it, though? Uh, yeah, he are can. Are you kidding me? It's so hard to see on the screen, you know. That was You magic. got a good eye, you know, looking at this small little screen. I mean, this screen is, what, six inches? How do you tell? You get used to it. You, you know, to you got to play. I play much better pool from the chair here than I do uh, <laughs> uh, standing up with a cue in my hand. I never miss. No, that's not true. I do all the time. <laughs> well, you know what? Looks like Mika wants to end this. Oh, boy. Well, this was, this was a damn good break and a damn good opening shot by Mika. Uh, Geraldine, turn away. You don't want to watch this. <laughs> Daniel's like, eh, whoever wins, wins. <laughs> Mika's not wasting any time here, but he's also he's making sure you're not making any mistakes. Uh -oh. I think I think it's I over. think uh, Boosty knows what the score is here. I think pretty soon you're gonna see the white the white towel come to the table and say that's I good. I don't think he's gonna get up. I think he'll make him shoot it. I think really? make him shoot everything. Well, they both played great. That they did, Grass half Popper. And you know what? You talk good, too. So I appreciate you being <laughs> well, here with us. This is a lot tougher than I thought. Yes. I you know? know? I know. You don't, you know, you get a little better when you do it 12, 13 hours a day. But exactly. uh, there you have it, guys. Yay! The Iceman, Mika Eminem, takes it down. Nice. Good job, Mika. Django Bustamante. They played great, both of them. Well, that was a hell of a match. Um, we are going to, hey, thanks you know again. What? I'm going to steal one of those little pieces of pizza that you offered me oh, earlier. Oh, yeah, it's not little. You and, better uh, help yourself. And thank you good. so much. This was a, a great opportunity to, uh, to do this with you. I, I loved it. I enjoyed every minute of it. Uh, it was funner than playing in the tournament. That's good. And you know what? I know exactly how many minutes of it you did. So, so 69 minutes so and how, 15 seconds. So how much so am I getting go. an hour? <laughs> <laughs> you said I was an employee. <laughs> One piece, oh, piece of pizza. pizza. <laughs> Yay. All right, boss. Thank you so much. On this budget. Thanks Alrighty. again, Grasshopper. See you I later. Bye-bye. Wait, what? What did he say? <laughs> it's Lee Brett. All right, guys. Appreciate it. Let's uh, let's uh, thank everybody for watching this uh, match right now, and. Uh